I had the video. Okay, so the video's going. Okay, so it is, let's see. It's Tuesday, February 9th. It's already the 9th of February. I'm so excited. Um, so Team Connection Night is always on Tuesday nights at 9 p.m. And um, tonight we're going to talk about some ways to help you relaunch or launch or just get grooving and moving in um, the month of February because... It is amazing that we're already in the month of February, and I hope everybody is feeling the momentum of a new catalog. Um, I'm just starting to feel it. I had my first home party last week in Iowa, <clears throat> and it went okay. It wasn't spectacular. In fact, we're, I need to talk with my hostess and close it out, but um, just now people are starting. I was late in mailing my catalogs. I don't know if you all were, so my people who are getting the catalogs are super excited. Um, but it's kind of slow going. But once they get them in their hands, like as soon as two people got them just a couple of days ago, they were like, oh my gosh, I want everything. I'm making myself a list. So it's definitely the, the momentum is building. Um, we just have to get the information in the people's hands. So, all right. So I always read my quote from my fabulous Kit Life Planner. And today is very short. So it says, one who makes no mistakes never makes anything. And that is by an author unknown. And I guess it's Mardi Gras. I don't really celebrate Mardi Gras, but that's what it tells me um, today. And so um, tonight, I don't know if I'm going to do recognition yet because the month is so um, early. But I did want to put a couple of reminders out there just in case. Let's see. Let's see. Um, if you haven't checked out the new red stamps that are out there, they're super cute and super fabulous. So that is on the red stamp app now for us to use. Um, sometimes I use red stamp on my computer or laptop and sometimes I use it on my phone. It just really depends. Um, but they're great graphics to use and then save to your desktop or save to your phone. Um, for anybody who asks for a catalog, I always just create, I don't know if y'all can see them, and I need to go in and update them, but I have a couple saved on my phone. Um, let me find them here for you. Just to, in case they're interested in a catalog or, um, like this one is, hi, I received your request for more info on 31 Gifts. I'd love to chat with you and share more about our business and answer any questions. Um, we are the number one party plan company in the U.S. See, this was last year's stats, but it doesn't matter. Um, I lead the Sparkling Stars team. It's a great time to join. Let's chat. And so then I just put my um, face on it. So that's a red stamp I've used. Um, another one I have here is, um, thank you for your request. I'm so excited that you're interested in 31. I'll send you a catalog right away. In the mean, meantime, can I answer any questions for you about placing an order, hosting a party, or becoming a consultant? And so I really need to have a picture retaken because I wear my glasses like 24 seven now and I can't see without them. So it doesn't look like me. And then like if I've sent somebody something, I need to make this into a red stamp, but I just put like, hi there, just checking in to see if you've received your packet of information about 31. Let me know um, what questions you have about placing orders, earning free products or starting your own business. And so I, this one I just made like, I don't even know what that's on. Maybe just a plain red stamp without any graphics. So I keep those three on my phone just in case I need them. Um, and I can text them out really, really quick. Do I get a lot of responses from them? No, but um, at least I'm making that touch point and I keep reminding myself that I have to at least touch base with them eight to 10 times before they'll probably even respond to me. So anyways, okay, let me find the beginning in the beginning okay so I was gonna do 25 ideas to kick off 2016 and the reason even though we're in February we started this new catalog February 1st so we're really only nine days into the catalog so for me um, as much as January came and went and we're glad it's over um, I feel like 2016 as far as our business really started on the 1st of February. Reason being is because we have a new catalog. And so I thought I would try and just share some ideas, um, either that I've heard about or I've tried myself on just ways to kind of get yourself out there. So um, some of these things are things that, like I said, I'm doing some of these things I've heard about. Um, and so I just thought I would share them. But um, 
one of the things um, that I'm really striving to do, and I've kind of done a video already to share with our um, Sparkling Stars team, um, is to mail out 10 possibility packets um, a month. So um, they come in 10 in a packet for like $3.50. And I was going to show you what I put in them. And I totally forgot to grab that before I started. But I can grab it really quick. So hold on. Okay, so what I put in mine, and I use, so I've got these little, you guys have probably seen it before, but I have these little cellophane bags that I put my information in. And so um, whether I'm mailing them out or I'm passing them out, I really try to get at least 10 out in the mail, um, just because you never know who may have mentioned something at a party, maybe this past fall, and I just wanna share the information and get it in their hands. So I do um, give the Living Your Dreams brochures. I have some made up, but I'm doing an event, so they're all packed away. So this is kind of like last minute. Um, so I give them the Living Your Dreams brochure. I give them a mini catalog, because I think it's important to give them the mini catalog. Um, I do give them top 10 reasons they should consider joining my team. Now, are they going to read it? I'm really not sure, but um, this document, I think, is in our file section of our Facebook group. I then also give them, and I think they're in here, yep. um, these postcards. I changed my spelling error, and I ordered them again. I, so I give them one of these, just talking about, you know, this is their chance to start their own business. And then the thing that I haven't done before, but I just started doing is this is on 31today.com. And I really wish it was offered in business supplies, but it's not. But basically, my printer messed up on this printing. But um, it shows exactly what's in the kit. And to me, like, that's super important if you're sharing the information. That information isn't in this little booklet. The only thing it shows is that page right there with the start swell. So I like to put this in there, too, because then they can see all of the information. And it even tells them, like, what it includes as far as paperwork goes. So, and like I said, you can't order this flyer on business supply, but you can definitely print it out, um, or you can even send it as an attachment um, if you're sending somebody information over email. So my goal is to send out 10 of these a month. So I'm going to try and do a 10, 50, 10, wait, 10, 50 roll, I think is what I decided. Um, and it may be more than that, because really if I'm trying to mail out, let's think about this. Uh, 1060 rule, I guess is what I should say, because I'm trying to mail out 15 um, minis a week and then touch base with five a day or three a day for five days. Y'all get that? That's a little crazy. So that's one of the goals that I'm really working on and making a commitment in doing this because it doesn't matter if everybody responds to me right away. I'm just at least sharing with 10 people a month the opportunity and 15 people a week um, our mini catalogs. And I know Sarah posted today she had somebody contact her before she even was able to follow up with someone when she mailed out her minis last week. Um, I have not mailed out minis yet. I was going to the first week of February and I know I encouraged everybody to do so um, but the reason I didn't is because I mailed out like 30 some catalog full-size catalogs that my customers and hostesses from before had asked yes it's definitely a really great flyer so I just put all this in here now I do keep some in a zipper pouch um, in my purse in my new um, miles of style purse I think that's the name of it I love that purse so I do put some of my chapsticks in it but if you don't have like personalized chapsticks or a personalized pen you could actually get the magnetic bookmarks they're three for a dollar on business supply and put a cute note about you know 
marking your favorite spot in the catalog or mark, you know, what catches your eye because you could do something cute and sloganish with the bookmarks. They're a dollar a piece and they kind of go with our items. Or there's nail files. A mag the magnets though and even the nail files wouldn't cost any extra to mail. So, and if I do mail this, I just slap a white label on it, put my return address on it and stick it in the mail exactly this way. Um, usually something like this, when I mail it, it's like 71 cents or some, some amount like that. So it's very inexpensive. So, um, and it's kind of fun and colorful to look. I mean, you could even take, um, do this. Let's see. So you can mail it like this. So this is the one side and then this is the other side. So anybody looking at it is going to be like, what? Let's get the party started. What is that? So that's one thing I'm doing. Now, if I'm passing these out, because like I said, I do keep some of these in my zipper pouch. I like to keep um, the, um, hi Tamara, I'd like to keep the door price slips in my hands. Um, and so I like to either paper clip a door price slip to each person um, to each packet. And so if I'm out and somebody is like providing really good customer service or somebody strikes up conversation and maybe they saw the name on my car or, and I was walking in the parking lot, um, or, um, somebody, you know, stopped me for my cute new purse at, you know, a ball game or something. Um, I can hand them that draw drawing slip and ask them to fill it out and let them know that I do a um, door prize once a month, um, for anybody who filled out that information. And so that's one thing that, um, you can do, um, so that, um, you know, don't feel awkward doing it. Just let them know you're giving away free stuff. It's no big deal, but you get their information. You're not asking for like their social security number and that kind of information. It's just like, Hey, I wanted to let you know that um, I do a drawing for um, a free and you could tell them even what it is. Free $10 and free, free $10 credit free um, little carry-all caddy. Some people may not even know what that is, but if you just put like, hey, I give away $10 um, and a free gift certificate every month to one lucky person who fills out one of these door price slips. And so that way you're capturing their information. Um, you could pass this out anywhere, um, but you've got to, um, the more that you pass it out and the more people that you reach doing this, the better chances you are of reaping the rewards. But it's really about being consistent with it. And so that's why I say it's a 10, it could be a 1050 rule, 1060 rule, whatever rule you feel like will fit into your budget, but make that commitment. I'm going to hand out 10 of these a month. So that's $3 and 50 cents a month I'm spending on recruiting packets and then, or at least for the living your dreams for sure. And then I'm going to, um, spend, um, $5, $7, however you figure it up. Cause the, the mini catalogs are 40 in a pack. So I'm going to spend about 20 bucks, give or take, if I'm handing them out or I'm mailing them, um, on my marketing. So that's a budget that you have to set for yourself. Um, but be consistent with it. I dare you to try it for at least six months. Say I'm gonna make sure and pass out at least 10 of these a month. Um, and you say, well, who do, I, who do I send these to? Look at your contact list, maybe somebody who loves 31, who you think would love the opportunity, maybe that just wants a girl's night out, um, who maybe randomly orders from you, some of your good customers. It could be people that maybe showed interest at one point on Facebook party. Um, it could be anyone. Um, I love to give these to people who really provide great customer service. If my husband and I are out at dinner, um, I will even include, um, I don't think it's in this box here, but one that says you sparkle and it just gives them, you know, a little slogan that says you sparkle. Your customer service was amazing. Um, I would love to have you on my team. I'm always looking for members like you on my team. And, um, just even taking the back of the door price slip, if you're not comfortable talking to them, but leaving it in like, you know, you get the little folder thing with your credit card slip and all that stuff. Leave the door price slip in there, flip it over, write them a handwritten note. You know, you exceeded our expectations tonight. Um, I just wanted to, you know, make sure and compliment you, um, and let you know how much we appreciated your service. And I'm always looking for people like you on my team. Um, if you fill this out and text it to me at this number, I will enter you into my drawing for a $10 gift certificate or a, you know, free product next month. So th that's one of the ideas. 
Um, but obviously, if you're going to talk to somebody um, in person, compliment them. That would be the way to start. So those are kind of my recruiting packets. Um, another way to kickstart your business in 2016 is, I know you're not going to want to hear this, but make a video. I know. Make a five-minute video or less, five-minute or less video on why you chose 31 and post it to either your private Facebook customer group. Um, you could even post it to your personal profile page um, and say that you were challenged to make a video why you chose 31. You're not asking people to join in the video. You're not asking people to buy your products. You can say your director challenged you and that gets you out in the public. Now, here's the deal. You may say, well, I don't know what they're going to think of me if I post a video on my personal profile page. You can't be afraid to post out there, okay? You can't. And they're your friends, so they already know what you look like, right? I mean, my friends know what I look like, whether I have my hair pulled back or I've got it down. I, sometimes I have it curly. Sometimes I have makeup on. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I have a hat on. Sometimes I don't. Um, your friends on Facebook, they know what you look like, and most of them, unless you friend a lot of random strangers, they know what you sound like and they know what you talk like, and they know your personality, and that's gonna shine through in your video. And you never know who that might intrigue. Now I made a why, why I, the five reasons why I joined 31, and I actually posted it to my business um, public, it's not my public figure page, but my, it's not a business page either. What is it called, a business person page. So weird how we have to have that. but. I posted it there, but then I went and I shared that post onto my private customer group. I got a lot of great feedback from people that I didn't even think would take a chance of watching it and people that never even comment in my private customer group. And they were very sincere. They're like, Dana, we can see why you love 31 so much. Um, thank you for sharing. This was just really um, a great video. Um, we know why you're so, like it was positive feedback for me. Did I get any recruits from it? Did I get any parties or hostesses? No, but I was just sharing my heart and why I love 31. And you never know what seed you're planting when you're doing something like that. But here's the deal. Sure, you could post five minutes worth of text and have, share why you love 31, but a video is so much more. People are gonna watch that video, they're gonna relate to that video, and if they're not interested, they're just gonna shut it off, and it's no harm done. But videos are so much more powerful um, and like I said, they're already your friends and they know what you look like. So that would be something to kind of just step outside your comfort zone and just say you've been challenged. I do have a 10 day challenge of videos. I know it's going to freak everyone out on our team because not a lot of people like to do videos. Um, but really the more that you do them, the more comfortable you become. So um, that would be another option. Another way to kickstart, and this is something that i not sure everybody understands. It's taken me a while to understand it, but we have the whole hashtag thing that's out there on social media. It is pointless to use hashtags if your settings are set to private. Like if you, so for instance, I'm, I do have my settings set to my friends only can see my posts. Um, the only way they can see something public is if they go to my business person page. Um, everything I post is set privately. Um, I have, we have family stuff and we have some privacy stuff. So I have to keep mine very private. Um, however, my sparkle with Dana page, um, is public. So anybody and everybody could look at it. Um, I will use hashtags on that page because if somebody, let's say for instance, uses the hashtag 31 gifts, if they click on the hashtag, it's going to pull up all the people who've posted 31 gifts. Now, caution, most people who are using 31 gifts are consultants. So do we really think our customers are going to use the hashtags or potential customers or potential hostesses or people that haven't even heard about 31 yet? They're not going to use the hashtag 31 gifts. They're not going to use the hashtag large utility totes. They're not going to use the hashtag um, 31 gives. They're not going to use the has, hashtag um, all in 31. They're not, they're not going to use those. That's not what people are looking for. Are, if they're looking for something, organization, 
Um, are they looking for um, making money? Um, looking for, I'm trying to think what other things like Super Bowl was on Sunday. Um, my husband and I, we have our other woodworking business and I use the hashtag, hashtag SB50. That gained us new followers on Instagram because I use that and people were looking for um, hashtags and people posting about the Super Bowl. So it's really how you use the hashtags. Now, if your personal profile is set to public, then of course use hashtags because people can click on that and that's how they can see other people who've posted and they may, you may gain a new hostess, a new customer, a new follower just by adding some of those hashtags. Don't use a ton, think purposefully when you use them. Um, for instance, for me, I always use um, Sparkle with Dana because I want all of my Sparkle with Dana posts to come back to my business person page. Um, but if I'm like, for instance, on Instagram or um, maybe even sometimes on Facebook, um, I will use like organization. Um, I will use, um, I can't even think for 31 right now. I'm, my brain is fried. But for instance, for our woodworking business, I use hashtag woodworking, hashtag wall art, hashtag wood art, hashtag wood, wood wall art, hashtag handmade, handcraft, hashtag handcrafted. So it's those type of things that people are looking for just woodwork and then that those all those posts are going to show up and then hopefully you'll gain new followers. So that could potentially give you new customers or hostesses and I know it's like social media overload but I just want people to understand how the hashtags work and you can use them for your benefit as long as you think about are you, is it something that people publicly can see? That's how you're going to gain new followers. If you're just posting it for the fun of it, post for the fun of it. But if you're hoping to get new followers and your profile isn't set to public and um, you're using the hashtags from 31, the likelihood of you gaining anybody new from that is slim to none. Okay, another fun way to um, kick off your business in 2016 is a flipogram. Anybody have a Flipagram app on their phone? I know some girls have used it before. Flipagram. It's an app. It's a free app. Um, but I loved this idea. And it's not something I tried, but it's something I want to try at one of my next parties. Yes. Okay. So Flipagram. Here is a challenge. This is something fun you could do. If you're not into making a video of yourself, try this at your next home party, okay? Get your camera out. Take pictures of your hostess, take pictures of your hostess and her friends, having fun. Like maybe take some props where they could take some fun photos. Just take a collage of different pictures throughout the night with them holding onto your products, um, trying them on, laughing, drinking wine, whatever you, they do at their home parties, okay? So you take all those pictures, then you put them into a flipogram video. And you can actually, through the flipogram video, set it to background music. Um, and then what you can do is share it on your page and say, my hostess has so much fun and even tag your hostess in it. I just thought this was such a clever idea that your hostess would have like this little video memory of her party and people could see how much fun that people had at her party just by sharing the video. So that was, um, a fun way, um, you could do that even at like a 31 event and take a bunch of pictures and put it into a flipogram. People love video and that's just something new and exciting to share people, share with people. All right. Um, let's talk about attending a networking or social gathering. Most people, when they think of networking, they think of like networking groups or like the chamber. Um, but really networking can pretty much mean anything. And this is where you'll get to meet new people. I mean, if, if you feel like you're just in the same group of people all the time, a way to get out of that is go to different social gatherings and networking events. So of course those, any kind of networking um, events that are titled networking would be something to, to take a look at, but also, um, you know, I know like our chamber here in the Liberty area had an after hours tonight. I didn't go to it. Um, but those are usually typical free events that you can go and meet new different, meet business people, make sure and have business cards. Um, it does take, I will say, doing those type of things does take some work, does take, take some time to build those relationships. But if you're committed and into doing it, um, it will benefit you in the long run. Um, for me, like I do have a network 
um, in this area now of women and even a few men um, who I'm confident if I needed something I could call them or if they need a referral they can call me and so that is a benefit of those but other social gatherings are just as beneficial think about barbecues or picnics mops groups um, think about what hobbies you like to do um, things that you can do to get yourself out there. That could even be just taking your kids and going to the park, or taking your dog and going to the park. You never know who you're going to meet out and about. Um, for me, um, I try and do something different. Like last, this last year, I um, decided to train for a half marathon. And so that was me trying to get into a new social gathering. Um, it was a group of people from my church that I didn't know and definitely helped me um, meet some new people. Um, I was um, planning on joining a Bible study this spring. Um, however, the time frame that it was being offered did not work for me. So I'm still looking for that new social gathering that I want to do myself. Um, this time it might be a hobby. I'm not even sure yet. Um, but think about like, anything that you're interested in. Are you interested in cars? Are you interested in scrapbooking? Are you interested in, um, you know, pets and volunteering in a shelter? Um, those are all social gatherings. Think about all the social gatherings you can go to. Doesn't mean you're going to throw up 31 in their face, but that is where you meet new people and you begin to socialize. Um, you can also find groups on Facebook. And this is something that um, I have done a little bit of. I am an, a part of a couple. Um, I say don't go and join all of them, but find a group on Facebook. Maybe it's um, a group that's focused on raising young kids or raising puggles. Like I'm sure there's a puggle Facebook group I could probably look for. Maybe it's a group who loves puzzles or loves to scrapbook or loves to quilt or loves woodworking. Um, I know there's tons of different groups out there on Facebook and they're free to join. Um, but once you get into that group, here's what you got to do. You got to start commenting on people's questions, commenting on what people are saying and interact with them. There's social media groups out there. There's, um, there's even women groups just on Facebook that are just business women supporting one another. You don't want to throw up your business right as soon as you, um, um, get into these groups, but as you begin to build those relationships with them, this can lead you into new avenues. Um, for me, one of the things that I joined um, just before Christmas is um, a networking mentor. I have a, um, a coach, a mentor, a social media coach, and direct sales coach, um, but she offers a free group too, and it's called Social Super Group, and if any of you want to be a part of it, I'm more than happy to add you to that group. Um, she does free training. It's a lot of social media training in this group. In her ultimate group that we pay for, we get more extensive training, one-on-one -on -one time with her, and we also dive more into the direct sales aspect of um, training and business. But the social super group that she does for free, um, I have actually um, just comment. I mean, the, every day she has a different topic. Sometimes it's Pinterest, sometimes it's Instagram. She's very big into videos, which is why I'm very big into videos, but you've, I've been into videos before even doing that. Um, but I have to comment on people, people ask questions, I answer, sometimes um, I ask a question, they answer, and we share ideas. And just by building that relationship, just a couple of weeks ago, I think it was last week actually, one of the girls that is in both groups with me said, hey, my consultant is no longer a consultant, I do want a new catalog. I didn't by any means approach her for it. She knew who, was, who I was with just by being a part of that group. But now I have a new um, potential customer in Oklahoma because of that. So you just never know. Um, so I definitely encourage you to get into those groups um, that you find interesting. And if it doesn't work out, just get out of it. It's no harm done. Um, when you're out and about, we've talked about this before, but of course, brand yourself. Um, you know, we have cute new jewelry, so you can wear jewelry. Um, you could also create, I'll show you this one. Let me find it. I think it's up here. Um, maybe. I have another button somewhere. I don't know where it's at, though. There's one that says, ask me about my why, but I don't know where it's at. You could even have buttons made. This one says, 
add some sparkle to your day. Um, I've had a button before that says, ask me how to get me free. You could have buttons made at wackybutton.com. They're very inexpensive to make. So if you don't have a lot of 31 t-shirts, you could always think about having a button made. Um, I've had buttons that say, um, ask me about my why, um, ask me how to get this for free. Um, I love it giving away free product. You could come up, come up with some really catchy slogans um, for the buttons. And you don't have to buy a big bulk of them um, to have them made. Um, of course, 31 t-shirts and our 31 products are amazing and fantastic to be wearing when you're out and about. Um, but one thing I haven't done, um, I have, I don't, I, I don't know how many of you have your name on the back of your car. I've never thought about this. Um, I don't know why I've never thought about this until I was researching all this today. And um, we all have our name on the back and we go into a store and people are probably walking by our car. Well, I have an SUV. So on the back, I have a windshield wiper. Why have I never thought to put any of my mini catalogs there for somebody to grab if they walk by? That's kind of a no brainer, right? I mean, my information, they're already seeing my car. They know I'm with 31. So why wouldn't I just stick a couple of my mini catalogs there in case somebody is wanting one? I mean, if they come out, if I come out of this target and they're still there, okay, no harm done. But if they're gone, that means somebody was interested. So just a little something to think about when you are out and about besides, I mean, we wear our stuff, we wear our our products with pride. We wear our cute t-shirts and things, but that's something different. Um, especially if you do have your, um, 31 logo or whatever on your vehicle. While we're out and about too, the one thing I want to talk about is, um, talking to people and I am super guilty of this. I get myself into a zone when I go into any store and I get into, in fact, I've gotten so lazy, I've started ordering my groceries online and having them delivered to me because I can't stand grocery shopping. And I spend way too much money when I go, so I would much rather budget and order online and have them bring it in for me. But when I go to Target or I go to Kohl's or Pennies or whatever, and you're, you know, you've got a line of people, it is so habit for me to do this. And so I'm checking Facebook, my messages, I'm checking everything, and I'm not paying any attention to my surroundings. And just last week, um, when I was at Target, I decided I had, it was hard, I had it in my purse, and I pulled it out, because no one was behind me, and the person in front of me was, like, loading her stuff on the thing, and I thought, nope, I gotta put it away. I've gotta have a conversation with people, because that's how you meet people sometimes. Like, I work from home now, so I don't meet people unless I go out and do something, um, or I meet somebody on social media somehow, so, or I go to a networking group, but I don't have kids in sports. Um, my husband and I, we are pretty much homebodies, so if I'm standing at Target, I need to make sure this is put away, because the only way I'm going to meet the people around me is if I look up and put the phone away. So I've got to talk to people. I've got to smile. I've got to compliment. I've got to um, make it a goal maybe to ask, have them ask what I do, but have that interaction. And you know, since I started doing this, I noticed everybody does this. There's not one person standing in line, not on their cell phone. Isn't that crazy? Yes. When your kiddos are loud, I run through a test. I know. Well, and the thing was, is that there was a huge line last week at Target. I don't even know why, but the lady in front of me had a huge cart full of stuff, and I was behind her. There was a mother-daughter standing behind me, and the little daughter kept saying she wanted bananas. And so I had put my phone away and I was talking, kind of talking with them and I couldn't figure out how she wanted a banana. Like I didn't have bananas in my car. I couldn't figure it out. Well, she could see the bananas on the belt in front of me. And so that's why she was wanting a banana. Well, in the meantime, the mom two <laughs> aisles over or two checkout lanes over had two little boys and they were pretending they were in star Wars. And so they were having a battle right there in the midst of the lane of target or whatever. And all of us, women that were standing around were talking about how cute they were and oh isn't that so sweet and because I was looking up I was having conversations did I share with 31 with them that day no but you never know what could have happened but I was 
typically I would have had this and just been checking something because, you know, this is so important that I can't look up for five minutes and recognize the person in front of me. So it's just those little things. It's, it's baby steps. Um, but complimenting people on their shoes or their top or their kids, you know, you know, haircut or something, just giving somebody a compliment. You never know how far, like it was just a good reminder for me to remind myself that, you know, most people, like they don't look up, they don't pay attention. Um, and you never know by just giving that one person a compliment in the line may change their whole outlook for the day. So may not be something right away, but the more we give out, the more we'll get back. So, um, for those of us who have teams, we can always hold a team meeting at a public place and carry some of your cute products there. People are like when we meet at the pizza shop for, we used to meet at the C pizza shop by my house for, um, celebrating connects. Um, people are like wondering what this big group of women are doing together. And we all have the same purses and handbags and, you know, we're all smiling and laughing and hooting and hollering. And so, um, meeting in a public place could definitely draw some attention. And even if just by the waitresses that are waiting on you, I know for me, um, the better together event I was going to do at the library. And unfortunately our group is too large now that I'm going to have to figure out another place here in the next week to hold it. But I think that could be a good benefit because I'm going to try and do some restaurant instead because that will draw attention. So food for that for that one. Um, we talk about the list of 62 and I know that everybody knows about the list of 62. However, it's something that we should revisit. Um, I think sometimes we make the list of 62 too complicated. It could be anything from potential hostesses, recruits, um, potential sales, um, in your state or out of state, potential fundraisers. Um, it doesn't include. It doesn't include just people you know right now. It could be people that you've known in the past. And so maybe that's going through people that, you know, who you went to college with or high school with or who your husband went to high school with or who your, um, you know, sister knew back in college or something. Like it could be a list that just keeps going and keep going. But it's really about categorizing them. I do like to categorize them. Like I kind of said, like here's my category category of hostesses or potential hostesses. Here's my category of potential recruits. Um, I keep on a board here and it's not a list of 62, but I call them possible stars because they're possible people that might join my team. And so I just keep a running list on my whiteboard here of people who've mentioned it. Um, I do have my book, but these are people I've interacted with in the last month. Um, because I'm going to follow up with them before the month is over. Um, as far as potential hostesses, I do keep a running tab of them as well. And these are people that I could always add to my list of 62. Sometimes just refreshing our list of 62 can be really eye-opening to us too, because we haven't thought about those people in a while. And you never know. It's not necessarily maybe who maybe they don't want to host or they don't want to join, but what connection do they have into a networking group or a fundraiser, or maybe they have a friend of a friend who's interested in a party. So it's those type of connections. So don't like beat yourself up on your list of 62 and you go, I've got 59 and I can't think of another three or whatever. Like don't stress about that. Just start. If you've got 10, great. You've got 10 and you can work with that. Now, how can you build connections with them? So. Like a lot of people that were started on mine were just people who could connect me with other people. It doesn't necessarily mean they're going to help me with my business. Um, but definitely take a look at your list of 62. It's a perfect time. It's a brand new catalog. Think back five or six months ago who hosted with you. Those people could be on your list of 62. And um, when we're talking about referrals, um, this is something else that can help obviously boost your business. And referrals are everything in this business. Like if I get a referral, it is like the best thing ever. Obviously the more contacts that we have, the better for our business and your business is either going to be growing because we keep getting referrals and we're growing, growing, growing. Or if you're getting no referrals, we don't really stay stagnant. We're either growing or we're declining. There's no word the same. I really believe that. Like and there's times where I feel like I'm going like this. And then there's times I feel like I'm going like this. So it's just, it's the 
wave of the direct sales business. But the more that we can gain referrals, the more we're going to continue to grow. So one of the things that you could do if you are looking for referrals right now is not take a video, um, take a selfie. Take a selfie. Maybe it's your selfie with you and your dog or your selfie with you and your kids or just a selfie by yourself. We all take selfies. Let's just be honest. Most of us take selfies. Um, and you could put that into an app. So take the picture on your phone. Um, if you don't have an app that adds words to pictures, download it. Uh, an app that does that. There's a couple that I know. Um, one is Word Swag, um, and it's super easy to use. But put at the top above your head, am I your 31 consultant? Am I your 31 consultant? And then put your website link below you. So you've got your selfie here. So am I a 31 consultant? And www.my31.com, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Upload this. You could email it out, or you could actually post it on your Facebook customer group, okay? And then you could put, am I your 31 consultant? If so, save this to your phone, share it on your personal page, and add why you choose to shop with me. Make sure you tag me in it, because if you do, you'll be glad you did, and just put a little wink, okay? So, by doing that, they're gonna share your information with their friends. And maybe you give them a little $5 coupon or something to use next month if they share it. But it's them getting your name out there. Yeah, isn't this a good idea, right? So I'll say it again. Take a selfie, get one of those apps on your phone like WordSwag, okay? Now you could email this out too to your customer list and maybe do a drawing or do something fun if they like, Tell them to share it on their Facebook page or um, I don't know that you, that you would want them emailing it out. You've got to get them to save the picture though because if they just try to share it from your customer group, it's not going to work. If those people are not in the customer group, they won't see it. But anyways, am I your 31 consultant? Your website at the bottom. Okay, got that? Then upload the picture to your Facebook customer group with the text, am I your 31 consultant? Question mark. If so, save this picture and then share it on your personal page and add why you choose to shop with me. Make sure you tag me in it. If you do, you'll be glad you did. My phone, Siri came on. <laughs> it's asking me what to help, help her with. Photify is a good app too. Yes, Photify, um, Photify I've heard, and then um, you could always save it to your computer after you've saved it on your phone bring it over to your computer and use PicMonkey. You could do that. Um, I heard, R R I think it's Rona Designs or Rana Designs. I've not used that one. That's another one. So, but that's something you could do. And you could also create your own referral program, okay? Um, have your, whatever you decide to budget as far as referrals go. I always gift my referrals a key fob. That's, um, if they've, order, if they refer a customer to me, just to order. If they refer a consultant to me, I tend to give them um, a gift certificate. It depends on the amount of what I'm, I don't have a really set amount, but that person, if they refer somebody who joins my team, gets a gift certificate. Um, if I get a party out of it, um, I usually give them like $10 in credit to use at that person's party. So it's whatever you feel comfortable in doing, but creating some type of referral program. There's even, um, it's called, it's not my girlfriend's house. It's called, um, starts with a B. I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Um, I'll think of it and I'll post it, but, um, it, there's, it's a direct sales kind of, they, they make, what is it called? They make, um, graphics and they make I can't even talk it's not like my girlfriend's house because it's more towards direct sales but they make actually business card size referral cards and so they're already made you could even make them on Vista print and have like a referral program on the back um I don't think I have it in here but like my Cincy lady her um business card she has a referral program so if you buy like 20 bars or something you get three for free or something. So she marks it off every time I buy from her. Um, 
for me, I didn't want to go that complicated because I just didn't want to have to deal with cards, but I do, I do offer referral things for referrals. If that makes sense. So, okay, moving on. We only have a couple more. Um, holding open houses throughout the year. Um, it's the perfect time to hold an open house. It's the perfect time to have a spring launch program. It's the perfect time to have a customer appreciation. I'm doing a Galentine's Day party this Saturday, the 13th. Um, Galentine's Day is all about being a girl. And I think I've shared the video. You can find it on YouTube. Um, and I got the idea from Stephanie Allen, who's on our team, and she's actually doing one on Saturday too. Um, I've always wanted to do some type of customer appreciation event, so I um, ran my report and pulled up my top 50 customers, um, and I sent them out. I'll show you here. Um, I ended up sending out like 45, but I sent out envelopes, and inside were my Galentine invitations. Now, you could do this just as a customer appreciation invitation. Um, so they received my um, thing that says, grab your girlfriends for Dana's first annual Galentine's, get, Galentine's Day get together. Um, please join Dana. Congratulations as a top customer. You and three guests are invited to attend a morning reception of giveaways, prizes, and surprises. Thank you for your loyalty and supporting my business in 2015. Think Oprah's favorite things, 31 style. Kindly RSVP to Dana by February 10th. So um, now I'll be honest. This is the first one I've done. I have four RSVPs out of 50. So I sent out a reminder today. I've had a lot of people say they can't make it. I still have to do some following up tomorrow. I'm not expecting my first one to be huge, but it's a start, and that's what I've got to do. Now, for mine, it is about appreciating and making my customers feel spoiled. This is, this is not a I want you to come buy stuff from me event. My plan is to only have the new spring items that I own. I've ordered some on the first. They haven't shipped, so I don't know if they're going to make it here in time. But the ones that I've received in like Ready, Set, Sell, um, I'm going to have new catalogs there. Um, I'm going to, each person gets a gift for coming. And then my top customers, um, depending on if they come or not, will get something else. Everybody goes home with something though. Like that's the thing. And I'm just doing a brunch, so I'm not doing, I'm going to get donuts. I mean, I'm not making it complicated. It's going to be donuts, juice, and maybe some fruit or something. Um, it's not going to cost me a ton of money. However, um, they each get, got three tickets, okay, to bring friends. So there was my invitation. And then the instructions were to RSVP, for a headcount for reservation and gift purposes. You must attend to receive your gifts. Top five customers for 2015 will have special recognition. Are you a customer? Every customer will receive something. And then it says three guest tickets are provided. Please bring these with you for a special drawing for your guest. So the guests are going to have a special drawing and then my customers are going to receive um, a little packet. Now for those customers who've already received a catalog, they won't get one, but they, those who haven't will get their catalog. Um, I actually bought um, the heart koozies um, at Target Dollar Bin. I'm going to fill them with some candy, wrap them up in some cellophane. Um, I may throw a nail file in there, um, and they're going to get a coupon to use towards a, either a party or a future purchase later on this spring or summer. Um, I would rather just celebrate them and make, it, make them feel appreciated and let them know that I do appreciate them being my customer and then hopefully get some bookings. Um, I know my friend Annette is doing one too, and she actually even put in the invitation to leave their pocketbooks or their checkbooks or cash or whatever at home. Um, this was not about them buying. Most people don't, they expect us that, oh, we're going to come by. We're going to, you know, you want us to come buy something. No, I just want to make you feel appreciated. I want this to be a, an appreciation of it. I want you to come see the new spring products. Here's your, my customers. You get the VIP treatment. And guess what? By treating them like that, hopefully it will be a return business. So, um, that's just something that I've decided to do this time, but you could do a spring launch party. You could do an appreciation event. Um, and like I said, give them some type of coupon to redeem later. Um, we want to make sure and treat our customers special because they are special and we want them to stay loyal to us. Um, so you could even do something where, um, 
you know, I have not started to, I know I shared the idea, but let's say you have a hostess, like I had a hostess last, last week. Um, if I tell her that she gets an extra $10 coupon, if she rebooks with me within six months, on the fifth month, if she's not rebooked with me, I should be calling her and saying, hey, Kimberly, you haven't rebooked. Your $10 coupon is about to expire. Do you want to go ahead and get your next party on the calendar? You could do something even like that. It's just going above and beyond treating those customers and hostesses as special as they really are because they are the heart of our business like we wouldn't if we wouldn't be where we were if we didn't have our customers and our hostesses so you could even think about who hosted about five months ago um, and just say hey you know the new catalog is out I just wanted to give you first opportunity to book with me and for that I have a $10 gift certificate as long as you book within you know the next couple months or something so you can make it however you want to do it for that but that's a way to help you relaunch hosting it does I've been in the business almost six years I never have good host open houses I just don't I'm just being honest I don't and I don't have really good um, events. I'm not consistent with it though. That's my problem. And so my goal this year is to be consistent. So I will always do a Galentine party from here on out. I've made that decision. I hope it to become an annual tradition for my customers and my hostesses. It's always the day before Valentine's Day. And then I will host something in the fall because I tend to do okay in the fall because it's fall and people are starting to think Christmas time, holiday shopping. Um, but think what will work best for you and your business. Um, and also don't get frustrated if you host one and you come up with this really fantastic idea and only two or three people show up. That's the norm. But you be consistent and the more that you do it, the more it will become regular and the more people will go, oh yeah, every year she does this, we have to go to that. So that's my biggest word of encouragement for that. And then finally, always prepare yourself when you leave your home. We have to create a consistent pattern, and I am just as guilty as the next person. I will tend to grab my wallet and walk out the door and not have anything 31 on me. Um, but always make sure you at least have that mini catalog in your hand because sure, as you walk out the door with just your wallet, you're all about Benjamin, and you have nothing inside of it. I've done it a thousand times myself. Somebody's going to say, I love that wallet. Where did you get it? And you're not going to have any information to give them. Um, for myself, I was in Lowe's Sunday morning. My husband and I had gone in to get wood. Um, we actually went to get paint colors. And I was at the counter, and he was asking me what we were painting. And I was sharing pictures of my husband's stuff that he's been building and the things, ideas that we've been coming up with. And the guy was really interested. Now, it wasn't about a 31 business, but guess who didn't have any 31 business cards on her in her wallet? I didn't. I had nothing with my name on it. So not only could I not share about the woodworking business that we're doing, I couldn't share about 31 with him either. And that could have striked up an entire new conversation, letting him know, you know what, we don't have any business cards for our woodworking business yet, but here's my other business card you know, and then written it down on there. So I'm as guilty as the next. So always be prepared when you walk outside this house or your house, because you never know. As soon as you walk out, I guarantee you somebody's going to ask you something. Um, a few other really quick ideas is maybe host a meet your neighbor's party. If you don't know your neighbors, host a party. I know my neighbors that are live all in my cul-de-sac. I do not know my neighbors behind me. I've never spoken with them. Um, so you could host a meet your neighbors party and just invite everybody over to meet your neighbors. Now, don't make this about your business, but you could use our products as staged products. And as people come in and are greeting you, you, you know, they may ask what you do and you could share, oh, I am a 31 consultant. I um, love to help people organize their homes and their lives with the products that we sell. Um, now, if you have another job besides 31, don't share about that job. Just focus on 31. But you could host, like I said, a meet your neighbor program. You could also develop a loaner program. I know my friend Kristen um, Margison in Texas does this a lot. Um, we all have way too many bags. Let's just be honest. We're 31 consultants. So let people borrow your bags. Borrow my bags. Um, get their contact information when they get it, when they're going to return it, and let them borrow it. Um, maybe it's a new mom and she's just trying to figure out if the zip top organizing utility tote will work with her. Let her borrow it for a week and see what she thinks. Um, also be on the lookout if you have anybody that's, you know, doing those fundraisers. Now, 
here's my little hint about fundraisers. And this is um, the last thing. Well, it's not the last thing, but it is almost the last thing. I know we're almost, we're at 10 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to share this really quick because we have two people on here that are from Minnesota. Are you both from, Kim, are you from Minnesota too? I think so. And Tamara, you can take this to heart because I, this, this, shh, this secret. Okay. Hospitals, hospital auxiliaries. You need to look into them. I'll, I'll tell you for sure if this is really something you need to look into, but for fundraisers, you need to look into them. I am a part of a hospital auxiliary fundraiser that starts Thursday morning at 7 a.m., runs till 4 p.m. this Thursday, and again, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Friday. I believe I've also been invited to one south in the southern part, Kansas side of Kansas City. Um, this is a free opportunity for me to go and sell our products. Now, the kicker is they do want me to have a lot of inventory at this event. However, they make a cut. They make um, either 20, they told me 20%, then I heard it was 25%. Either way, I'm still making 5%. However, a lot of the items that I have, I bought on the end of season sale. So I bought them at the 40%, 30% discount already. So I am going to make money back. And then I'm going to have them order from the catalog and enter those as party sales. So I'm going to put some of it in as free and half price. So I should come out fine. However, this is probably going to boost me another level in the sales that I need, for instance, for my leadership incentive trip. Okay. Um, this is also a way for me to connect with every employee at this hospital because most people come in and shop because they know a portion of their purchase is going towards the hospital auxiliary. And the hospital auxiliary is one of the main supports of every single hospital. So if you, okay, yes, Minnesota, cool. So if you can get into a hospital auxiliary or find connections, just find out what they do for fundraisers, okay? Just find out now. The um, I I have no idea what this is going to be be like. I don't know if this is going to be worth it or not. I'll be able to tell you after Friday for sure. But from my Cincy girl that's been doing it, she guarantees me this will be one of the best things I've ever done for my business because um, I'm going to be in the face of so many people. Now the only stipulation, at least for this hospital, is I'm not allowed to pass out my catalogs. I'm not. A, we're not sure if we can do a drawing. She's never been able to do a drawing before. We're kind of. It depends on the auxiliary president and their stipulations and what the hospital rules are. However, um, this is something that they do three to four times a year. So those employees are going to start recognizing me. So those are the type of fundraisers. Like you just have to keep your eyes and ears peeled for fundraisers. It could be somebody who says they want to raise an extra five hundred dollars for their family who maybe somebody just had a stroke or it could be somebody who um, is looking to raise money for an adoption you know process that they're going through um, but keep your eyes and ears open for fundraisers because that even though you may not make a ton of money at the fundraisers it could be huge connections for later on for bookings potential hostesses and recruits so and then last two points um, we have new pillows and there was a sheet that I found today, and I'll share it on our Facebook group. Real estate offices, this is the perfect time to introduce them to 31 because we have personalized pillows. We have really cute home products now that they could personalize and gift for closing options. So um, the, the picture even shared with, it was like, it was a really good graphic. It had like five or six products, and it even talked about, you know, here's your budget if you're looking for closing. Um, closing gifts. Um, and so that would be another way to get out, get yourself out there. Um, this does take some marketing effort, but I promise you find those realtors. Um, I know several that I've not even reached out to, to even mention this to, um, but think about all, there's so many realtors out there that, um, are probably just buying cheap crap for closing gifts. Um, and if you can offer them a cut, like a 10% off discount, or maybe they buy in bulk, like, 10 at a time or something, and then they get the free gift, you know, free $25 in hostess credit or something. Think, got to think outside the box on those things, but that could really help you boost some momentum in 2016. 
So we have gone over a ton of stuff, a ton of stuff, and I don't want you to get overwhelmed. I want you to think, and I don't want you to think, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. It's not about what you can't do, it's what you can do. Yeah, the flyer is amazing. I'll find it, Julian, and I will post it. And if I forget to post anything, because I'm just a little air, I'm spacey, I've been pricing. I have two huge suitcases full of products that I'm, I priced all day today for this event um, that I'm doing. So I'm a little flighty right now, but <laughs> I wanted to share all this with you. And I don't want you to think, like, think, don't think what you can't do as far as what I just shared with you tonight. Think, what is one thing that I can do? Can'ts never did anything, but what can you do for your business? Pick one or two things that we've talked about and do them and stick to them, be consistent. And I promise you, if you do that this year, you will have huge, huge, huge success. I, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. So anyways, that's all I've got. It's time for four. It's bedtime. I'm super excited you were here. Um, yeah, I'll share that flyer. There was something else I was going to share and I'll think of it. Oh, that one business that shares the referral program. So here's a disaster. Any questions before we get off? I think I'm on delay. Oh, wait a minute. You all rock. You all stayed on with me this long. Thank you so much. Well, I'm super excited to see what happens in 2016. I know it's going to be a fabulous year. I'm very, very excited. Um, and I'm excited to um, hear what you decide you can do. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. I love doing these every week. I don't care how many people get on. I think it's probably because I just like to, I'm in my happy spot and I love to share ideas. And so one of these days I'm going to have people actually um, commenting and videoing with me. Um, maybe I'll have a guest on next week or something. That would be fun to hear from somebody else. So you're welcome guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful evening and I'll chat with you soon. Bye.